everyone here and welcome to my channel graphic for you today i'm going to show you how to create a particle like this in after effects in this tutorial i use stardust plugin and also the glow plugin it's very easy al let's get started first i'll create a new composition and i'll make it full hd frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds and then hit ok Go to layer and add a new solid and I'll name it mask. Then I'll change with to 1080 like height. Then hit OK. Go to a rectangle tool and hold Control. Then double click on rectangle tool. So now we have a mask like this. Double click on this mask and hold alt shift control then drag your mouse like this to make it smaller okay now i'll go to layer and i'll add a new solid and i'll name it stardust then click on uh, make comp size to change width to full hd like this then hit ok Go to effects of presets and I'll type star dust. Double click or drag and drop. Okay, now I'll close this mask. Then I'll go to star dust. Set point to text or mask. Then I'll go to volume. I'll change it to edge weighted and layer set none to mask. Okay, I don't need uh, this speed, so I'll go to speed and I'll change it to zero. Also, I'll change uh, particles per, th uh, per second to 10,000. Also, the size, I'll change it to 1,000, like this. Okay, and I'll go to path subdivide and i'll change it to 10. okay so i'll go to first frame and i want to see this particle uh, on first frame so i'll go to time offset and i'll change it to 50 and see okay i think it's good for me then i'll go to particle i'll change life random to 100 then open particle properties and i'll change size to 2 also size random i'll change it to 100 opacity random i'll change it to 50 yeah okay now i'll add a replica and i'll link it with particle then i'll go to replica and i'll change scale x and y to 200 like this okay and also i'll change angle z to 90 degrees and replicates i'll change it to Now again I'll add a replica and link it this with replica 1 then I'll go to replica 2 and I'll change uh, offset Z to 1 okay and replicates I'll change it to 30 and I'll change angle Z to 90 degrees also and see. Okay, so let me add a color. So I'll go to particle, set solid to gradient, and I'll open gradient, presets, and choose any colors you want. I'll choose this one.
okay so now i'll go to select emitter and particle control d to copy okay now i'll go to emitter and i'll change z size to 10 like this and also i'll open path properties and i'll change subdivide to zero okay and also i'll go to a speed path i'll change it to five and also speed random i'll change it to 100 okay yeah now i'll parent particle 2 with replica like this and see okay so go to layer and i'll add a new camera okay i'll go to first frame and press p for position and i want to move position z like this so i'll go to position and keyframe here go to last frame and i'll change z position to zero so let me see this okay this is good for me now i'll add a new layer solid as a background then hit ok and i'll put it down and i'll go to effect generate and gradient ramp i'll change this color to dark blue and also set a linear to radial and I put this point into the middle and the other one I put it here then I'll go to layer and I'll add a new adjustment layer then I'll add a mask here like this and now I'll go to stardust and effects and presets and I'll type deep glow double click or drag and drop and i'll change radius to 100 also i'll decrease exposure a little bit something like this then i'll go to adjustment layer and i'll add a blur and i'll change it to 10 and also i'll add a deep glow like this and i'll go to mask mask feather and i'll increase it also a little bit like this and see okay this is our tutorial today so if you like it don't forget like share subscribe and goodbye